Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and this is John, your host. This is episode number 125 with a live panel safety tip. Imagine for a moment, this is a 200 amp main service panel. And on the inside, it has several places for wires to come in to be attached with fittings. It also has a live bus bar. Imagining that this is a recessed panel, you have stucco surrounding this. So there's no way to get wire into these holes without knocking a hole in the stucco and fishing wire through it. Well, one of the problems with that is that this is a fish tape and fish tape is highly conductive. The one thing you don't want to do is touch any of these surfaces, which would be leg one, leg two, or any of the steps. The least thing that's going to happen is you're going to pop your main breaker. The worst thing you can do is blow out power to the entire neighborhood. To maintain safety, you permanently pre-sleeve your fish tape in a piece of plastic, okay? Which is exactly what I did. Now, let me demonstrate how this works. Now, these are the danger areas, and you want to exit through one of these holes. You have your pre-sleeved fish tape. So what you do is you run the fish tape all the way in so that there's no chance of making any contact with these dangerous little puppies here. You now go through one of the pre-selected holes and mind you that there's stucco here. You can't see this. This is going to somewhere your wire has already been fished to and you just feed it through and as you can see this will not allow any touch of the hots. Even if you did, it's insulated, but it's not going to happen. So, start feeding the wire through. Another thing that you use is your basic flexible conduit. This is for when you want to pull the wire all the way through so that there's no possibility of any live wires or bare conductors hitting this danger zone. What you do is you go ahead and feed it through and then you use your fish tape to safely avoid any of these conductors. And where does the fish tape end up? At the end of the conduit. Now, let's take it one step further. With the wire safely attached to the fish tape on the receiving end, you can now pull the wire through the sleeve, which has protected you thus far from getting shocked. So there, it's run. You can now cut the wire from the fish tape. We're done with that. And furthermore, you can remove the sleeve. This wire requires an attachment to mechanically fix this to the panel. I'm sorry I can't show you that. That's a violation of YouTube's terms of service. So, I can recommend that I can assure you that that procedure is shown in episode 119, Attic Subpanel Feed. That concludes episode number 125, how to safely run a feed into a live panel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.